Hey everyone, it's Paula. I thought I would do a quick vlog. Um, right now I can't sleep very well. I have insomnia very, very badly. And not only that, I have a two-year-old that climbs all over me and keeps me awake all night. I have severe, severe OCD, which means that I do these crazy rituals every day, all day long. As soon as I wake up, I begin cleaning my house. Um, before I go to bed, it's a constant, constant repeating of going to the bathroom over and over, washing my hands over and over. I literally have to keep this by my bed at all times, along with Vaseline and anything I can really to keep my lotion and I soak my hands and feet in it because they're so dry and cracked and bleeding. Another one of my um, ticks would be uh, cleaning my ears over and over and over and I always keep a box of Q-tips beside my bed. <sighs> You never know when you'll need those. Usually after I clean my ears, um, I'll shake my pillows. I have approximately four pillows each. I'll shake my pillows four times, four sets of eight. The number I'm obsessive with is the number, I guess you could say uh, eight, and but four plus four equals eight, and then seven is God's number plus one to grow on, so that's eight as well. I tend to be very obsessive with these numbers. Um, once I go to the bathroom, like I have to restart the whole ritual over shaking pillows. I drink water, four sets of fours. Um, and again, the hand washing. Um, I recently started a new one where I wash my feet constantly. If I feel like my feet have touched the floor, I have to wash them. If I feel like a pillow has touched the floor, I have to change the pillow. If I feel like my bedding has touched the floor, it all must be changed. I mop my floor several times a day with bleach. So, yeah, it's starting to peel up. And... I mean, it's not peeling up, but you can... I'm not supposed to use bleach on the type of floor we have. That's just almost unrealistic. Um, but there's several more. I would... It would take me a long time to explain it all to you. Sometimes I see my son looking at his hands. And I wonder, perhaps, could he have OCD as well? When the pandemic hit, um, I felt paralyzed. I didn't want to leave the house. Um, and I also struggle with severe anxiety and depression. Being a stay-at-home mom, OCD is really hard because if I don't do something, I feel like something bad's going to happen to my family. And I know that's just completely unrealistic. But there's always, you know, that chance. So why not just do the ritual and get it over with? I used to have um, more severe ones where I would touch the doorknob over and over. Lock the doors over and over. But um, thankfully, after my pregnancy, those passed. They tend to, um, OCD tends to get worse after your pre pregnancy, and it can also make you have intrusive thoughts. Like, thoughts that you would never think that you would have before, and then you're like, oh my god, am I this evil person for having these thoughts? But you're not. It's all OCD. A lot of people have a type of OCD where they feel like they're going to harm someone, and they're scared to death they're going to harm another person. That is not the type of OCD I have. If you have any tips or tricks that isn't just, oh, you have to change it up. You can't do your rituals. Because when people tell me not to do these rituals, like, 
it's screaming in the back of my head, like, how can I not do these rituals? This is everyday life for me. Um, but I've gotten used to it. They put me on several different medications. They never helped. So now I'm battling OCD by myself. And it's very obsessive. And it's very intrusive. And it can paralyze you and take over your whole life. And I heard it only gets worse. I did start therapy. So we are making some improvement. I am not in the shower over and over at least. Like... I used to get in the shower like 10 times a night and wash my feet. We no longer do that. I do keep bottles of water by my bed. And just try to do the minimum, minimum, minimum rituals as much as possible. So, if you have OCD as well and you can relate, please follow my vlog. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube as well as Facebook and Instagram to hear more in-depth stories or to just hear more stories in general about um ocd so be sure you hit the subscribe button